Has your soul been wounded supersizing and growing your business? Sharon Elstrom here, and our idiom and expression today is wounded soul. Now, I got so busy thinking about and remembering examples of the different types of ways that our soul can be wounded, uh, which is really interesting because it's something I never really thought that much about before, that I forgot to look up the origin of this particular idiom. I suspect it's been around, and maybe I'll look it up today and, and share tomorrow, but basically a wounded soul is a suffering, it's, it's somebody suffering, or we suffer from a wound, we're injured, especially in a battle or a fight. Now, as we grow and build and supersize our business, we have to battle sometimes to achieve the objectives and the things that we want for our business. Sometimes we have to battle for, with, with local municipalities for ordinances that are fairly distributed throughout the uh, community. Sometimes we need to uh, go to war or fight for what we know is right in order to serve our customers and the people that we're here to serve better. Sometimes we have to challenge uh, long-standing uh, beliefs and thoughts in different, it depends on the industry that you're in. And so I looked up the different types of wounds that we can suffer. And I thought it was really interesting. The five most common are abandonment, uh, humiliation, betrayal, injustice, and rejection. And then also there's attack. Again, abandonment, I have twice. I don't know why. Trust, fear of humiliation, abuse, and then guilt over having been abused or taking advantage of. I don't know about you, but I had a bad business partner once. And more than all the crazy stuff that happened with that situation, I actually felt guilty that I had made the decision, despite my better nature, because I listened to my head and I listened to my heart, but I didn't listen to my intuition in that instance. And I beat myself up for a long time about not doing that and then making a mistake by choosing the wrong business partner. So uh, I have lots of stories about different areas and aspects of this. I don't feel like I've ever been abandoned. I've definitely been betrayed in my life. I've definitely been humiliated in my life. If you're ever taking a risk and, and trying to do something new and different that you've never really done before, sometimes you're going to screw up. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to feel a little bit embarrassed or humiliated. I guess we get to define what embarrassment is to us and what humiliation is to us. And I don't, it's pretty hard to make me feel humiliated right? But it's, I do get embarrassed, but I don't feel really humiliated very much. Uh, once in a while, but not very often because I define it such that it's really, really hard for me to feel that way. It's like frustration. I had to redefine my frustration for myself because I went through a period in my life and my businesses where I was frustrated all the time and it wasn't serving me or the people I was working with well at all. I was not, you know, I was in a high stress, frustrated, dissatisfied mode for a long time. And that, that doesn't get great results. So, um, I think it's interesting that I can get totally sidetracked and forget to investigate the actual origin of the idiom. But that means it's one that has actually, it's one I really need to think about. It's one that I know that I haven't thought about before and I need to think about and think about, well, how does that impact my life and my decisions and my business grow. There have been businesses and industries, not just bad partners, but that I was a part of with my ex that actually sucked the life out of me. I call them soul sucking. And I didn't realize until after I'd gotten out of them, what a negative impact they were having on me and different areas and aspects of my life, not just uh, that particular businesses that we were running. Uh, they happen to be in the real estate industry and we we're helping people with short sales and foreclosures and things. And I'm one of those people. I could never be a counselor or a doctor because I, I feel bad and feel terrible and take on other people's emotions and things. And that doesn't work well in certain industries because we're not at our best if we're uh, being overly sympathetic and not just being empathetic. So uh, we learn a lot about ourselves along this journey of business growth and development. So I would love to know, has your soul ever been wounded as you've been growing and building and supersizing your business? I'm the first to admit mine definitely has, but every time it is, it's like any other challenge we face. It's our opportunity to learn and step up and become a better version of ourselves. That's it. Have an awesome day. If you know where wounded soul came from, hit me up so I don't feel silly or as silly. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it? to build and grow and supersize your business right now. Have a fantastic day.